Good morning, people. Now, obviously, you know I love you football. Arsenal's under 23s drew with um, Brighton's under 23s 2 2. And at this level, we all know it's a learning experience. And yeah, man, there's a lot of things to say. Again, I'm not going to sit here and, and say guys are going to be the next Messi in these things. I'm not going to take it over the top because they're still developing. Because although it finished 2 2, Arsenal really and truly should have walked away with three points. And this is what a lot, a lot of them, in fact, all of the young players have to learn and understand. And probably, um, what's, um, it, no, how do I put it? They have to understand you need to get a result because we played well. Ultimately, we didn't win. If this was to happen at Premier League level, which I know, the, I assume the majority of them want to kick on to, if possible, question marks would be asked. Then it was really two cheap goals on our behalf that we conceded. But it's nice to see Amici's back. He got a start and... I won't say he's at his full strength because he has been out for a while, but he looked at it, man. He had a spring in his step. Saka, I don't need to explain Saka to you. I actually feel Shafe and Gilmore, when they got going, were playing some nice passes. So with all of this being said, to not win would leave a bit of taste in my mouth. But going into the game, obviously, you know what to ex you know you know what to expect essentially. Zach Med Zip Medley as well, lovely ball player. If he can just learn to think like a defender first, probably improve his positioning. It'll go a long, it'll go a long way for with, with Arsenal. To be fair, I'm not gonna say this and that. Um, Ballard didn't play, but Ballard's another good one as well. And maybe because he's not as graceful on the ball as Medley, is maybe why he isn't getting chances. But yeah, man, I actually feel it was a. It, it started off kind of cagey, kind of scrappy. I actually feel Brighton. I want to say Brighton had a better game than us, but definitely first five minutes. If if you're a Brighton fan, you'd probably be happier. But then after that, we grew into the game. Like I said earlier, Shafe and Gilmore. Are having a, I don't know why, Brighton, to be fair, Brighton have been a tough to break down. Brighton, I felt their shape in the first half was superb. Um, and really and truly, we had a lot of possession, but it was all really in front of them um, for the majority of it. But um, I liked what I saw, man. Shafe and Gilmore, like I said, Gilmore, you know, he's happy to let other people shine. Was organising. Shafe was playing some nice passes. I actually feel Thompson had a decent game at fullback, left back as well, going forward. Saka and Amici look to be the ones to make things happen or to look to be the ones inspired. I, can't, I lost count of how many times I saw Saka dance past players in that game, man. There was one, I think it was the 35th minute, he took the ball from his own half. In fact, he did it a lot. Um, that's probably how we scored as well. And just dancing past people. Amici the same, just twisting people up. Um, um, yeah, man. But after the 10, 12 minutes in, we're, we're obviously dominating. Like I said, all the players in front of them. But we're, do we're dominating. Um, there was a lovely bit of play between Amici and Saka and a, a lovely ball was whipped in but no one was there to tap it in. Saka, there was an incident, Saka found John Jules and I think Tyrese John Jules is better than what he did. It was basically the ball came in and he headed it but it's, it's like he wasn't aware of his surroundings to a degree. Um, on another day he finishes that. Um, I did think we could have got the service up to him a bit more as well because when he did get involved he was doing stuff for us but... Other than that, you're just thinking the only thing missing from our play within the first 20, 35 minutes really and truly is a goal essentially because this is what it's about at this level. It's looking of a case of um, when, not if we will score because Brighton are being pegged in. Don't get me wrong, they're showing a little a little bit of quality going forward here and there but more or less it's, it's, it's all us essentially. So like I said, our two wingers are swapping flanks, um, Amici and Saka. Got ones on the left, ones on the right. They're doing what they need to do, man. Like we're really playing well. I liked how I was playing from the keeper. I was playing out from the back as well. A lot of what you see is nice to see when I watch the under 18s and 23s. That is, you, you and and obviously the first team. You see certain similarities. Um, like I said, we need a bit more quality, a bit more fluidity in our play to probably break them down and get that equaliser. And that's essentially what we did, man. We hit them on the counter. Saka dances through. I don't, I, I don't even know how many people he danced through. Um, he plays it into Amici. Amici, like, it's a sweet strike, man, into the far corner. He, he he strikes it dead well. Keeper's almost rooted to his spot. It's 1-0, and we deserve that. The only criticism is, if there is one, is that it should have been 3-4. In the same way, like, ironically, Arsenal's under-18s, which is for another vid against the same outfit. You need to think, let's let's get a bit more goals. This is the, I say it, you hear me in all my pre reviews, sorry. I say it at first team level. We have to kill off games. You have to kill off teams and things like that. And that's what I wanted to see from these lads because it's, it's only 1-0 and they're dominant and they probably deserve a, probably 2-3 would be justified. But going into the second half now, I won't lie, Brighton, in my opinion, they stopped respecting us. They stopped um, over-respecting us. They stopped. They, they started to realise that, OK, they might be Arsenal and we're Brighton, but we if we have a goal, we can do things. And they were getting it up to their striker a bit more. They're having a bit more belief in on, on 
on their own abilities on the ball versus in the first half. It just looked like long balls or a hot potato, no one wanted to take responsibility. And I will say they kind of caught us. They were having a, they had a lot of opportunities in the opening stages of the first half that on another day might have went in. But the goal we conceded to make it 1-1 was a sloppy goal. And if that was at first team level, questions would be asked. It all develops from a throw-in. You guys know I love Saka. I think it's Saka and um, who else is there? Did I write it down? I think it's Saka and Thompson. He evades them too far too easily. He gets past them far too easily. They, um, I wouldn't say they're both not switched on because they're trying, but it's too easy. He plays it into their number seven, I believe. Their number seven finds the keepers near post. Our keepers rooted to the spot. And it's 1-1. One, one. For all that possession, for all of these sort of things, it's 1-1 one, one now. This is this is what they've got to learn at under 23's level. It's a, it's a results game, essentially, because the next step is men's football, professional football. It's 1-1 one, one at this at this, at this this moment in time. But to a degree, we almost hit back instantly. Um, we, we I think we skimmed the poles. Tyrese played a lovely ball to Saka and then Amici, um, and... Um, and then it fell to Amici and then it fell back to Saka. It was all part of that at the moment, at that moment. But it's like neither could find this, any space to get a shot because they're being crowded out. Because like I said, Brighton, for their credit, whoever coaches them, because I'm not watching Brighton's academy too tough, coaches them very well because they all look like they had a clear job and, thing, and things like that. Um, and who, the, the man who scored number seven, I think his name's Andreas Dre. I did some research on him. He's 20 years of age. I can't believe he's not in the first team of any capacity. Fair enough, it's under 23, but like just just some of what I saw on the pitch from him today was positive. Um, so yeah, man, we got sucker punched as well. They obviously took the lead at 2-1. The same guy, Andreas Dreyer. Uh, Medley's probably caught out of position and there's several other people out of position. And this is what you need to learn at this level. Um, he dances past a good, like it's, it's a good goal. He dances past a few, a few of our players, and he finds and he puts it in the back of the net. Like on one hand, I was thinking, how did we let this happen? But on the other hand, it is a good goal. Like it was a good solo effort, and he looked like a man inspired. To be fair, he skipped past people too easily. He skipped past Thompson, Burton, and Medley, and it was again run a play. It was a sloppy goal for us to concede because we're better tacklers and we, we can provide. We can do better in that incident so we've conceded two goals that really and truly shouldn't have happened and we've only scored one you need to you need to kill games and you need to not concede these sort of goals the same questions asked at first team level this is what these young lads are learning obviously late on as the game was going on it was great play from Amici down the left hand side he played a one two with Coyle who came onto the pitch and then eventually the ball fell to Zalalem who came off the bench as well and made it 2-2 we deserve to walk away with something but it, it probably feels like two points dropped to a degree for the lads. Um, second half, I did like how, obviously, when Tyrese came off, I was thinking we've got no target, man, and we played better than I thought. I think Coyle did a good job up there. I think him and Michi and Saka, they're all rotating. It looks very good, man, and they're three players I like a lot, and I think they have the potential to be Arsenal first team, as you're seeing with a couple of them, so it gave us a glimpse. Um, like the formation, um, it looked like a four-two-three-one, but I must admit it did look like it was changing. So I don't really know, but um, yeah, man, it was a good game essentially, man. I felt Tyrese could have got a bit more service, like I said. Saka and Amici were men inspired, and they looked like they're serious prospects, like I said, which is why I loved them both. I feel Thompson had a decent game at left back. Medley's ball played. I like how he's brave, and it's easy to see why the first team is looking at him. If he could just polish some things around his game, it could be better, man. And if he just concentrates a bit more as well, but I like him. I feel Shafe, I, I don't know if he makes it here. He probably has to depart to get first team football. Hopefully I'm wrong. Seems to be playing in midfield a lot versus that centre-half, which was last year and that, even though he is a centre midfielder by trade and I like him. Um, playing some good passes and you guys know I've got a lot of time for Gilmore. He's never going to get mad headlines because he's not that sort of player, but I like him, man. Um, yeah, I think it was a good performance, but there's clearly several things we could have done better because for all the possession and chances and the lovely play, we didn't walk away with three points. But what more can I say? People deluded, like I said, Arsenal's under 23s, two versus Brighton's under 23s. Yeah, I'm out. Comment, subscribe and do the rest if you wish. Like the vid for me, I'm out.